words. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to rationalize the denominator again. Okay, and again we want to use our complex conjugate because when we do the complex conjugate, those i's disappear. So we like that. Um, again, I could give this to as a division problem. Same thing, same process. Okay, so if we have this, so I'm going to take our complex conjugate a plus b i, right. and then after that, since oh, I'm sorry. That's my bad. This should be a complex conjugate, and that should be a negative. Okay? And this becomes the same thing, right? Because we want to multiply by 1 just to keep things legit, right? Minus 2i. So I'm going to skip that step there. Again, if you don't understand when I'm, when I'm, when I'm working this out, if you don't understand why that happened, do the difference of squares. And if that still doesn't make sense to you, foil it. You're going to get the same answer. But I'm going to jump this step uh, for now. Okay. But I really urge you, if you don't understand why I'm doing this, uh, you know, foil it all out if you need to. But basically, I'm going to make the denominator into this. This complex conjugate is going to get this squared plus this squared. So this is going to become 3 plus 2. Right? Nice and easy, right? So let's foil out the top. Negative 2 root 3. Right? Minus times a minus is plus. 2 times 2 is 4, right? I, right? This becomes root 3 times root 3, right? Minus, minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3, right? Remember that from radicals? Root 3 times 3 is 3, so minus 3. Right? This becomes minus times a minus is a plus. 2 root 3, right? And then I squared. Again, I, I, I uh, don't mind you skipping this step, but definitely use the i squared up here, okay? Um, so let's simplify this, okay? This becomes, in fact, I'm going to do the step for you here, negative 2 root 3. This becomes, right, plus i, right? This becomes plus 2 root 3, negative 1. Okay, so now we see these are all part, these are both the real part of the solution. This is the imaginary part. We're going to stick them together. So these, right, um, because th they share the root 3, right, now can be combined and we get negative 4, root 3, right, 4 root 3, plus i over 5. This typically is an acceptable answer on most uh, tests and quizzes and whatnot, but just for the purpose of putting back into that form a plus bi, which we talked about the, earlier in the lesson, let's just change this into negative 4 root 3 over 5, okay, plus 1 fifth i. This being the real part, this being the imaginary part. Okay, so um, that is uh, 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 complex numbers. So uh, again, be careful with the negative signs, and thank you for using educator.com.